Hello, my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this equation. It's an easy one, actually, but I asked my family and friends how they would solve it. And yeah, it doesn't seem to be that easy as an adult anymore. So let's see how to solve it properly. We have x equals x over 5. So we have x on both sides and we have this fraction here. So maybe first of all we get rid of the fraction because usually people don't like fractions. Um, we have x divided by 5 so we get rid of it if we multiply both sides by 5. Then we have x times 5 which equals 5x and on the other side this 5 cancels with this 5 and x is the only thing that's left. So no fraction anymore. Okay, now 5x equals x. What most of the people did, don't do it, I do it in red, but I want to show you what they did. They said, oh, we have x on both sides, so we can just divide both sides by x and then x cancels out. Be careful with that if you don't know what you're doing. You can do it if you do a, a case distinction then, but if you're don't, not sure what you're doing, better not do it. I'll show you another way later, but let's see what happens. So if we cancel out x, 5 is the only thing that's left on the left side, and here we have x divided by x, which equals 1. 5 equals 1. What does that mean? Well, this is not right. That just means that we don't have a solution for this equation. So we would say there is no solution to this equation. But is that right? Let's go back to this one and see how to do it properly. This is just a linear equation. We have x on both sides and a linear equation. You usually solve it by putting all the stuff that has x to one side. So we would take this x and put it to the other side um, by subtracting x. So we have 5x minus x equals 4x. And on the other side, x minus x equals 0. Now we have x on just one side here. And if we want to solve 4x, we just have to get rid of this 4 here. We have 4 times x. So we divide both sides by 4 to get rid of it. 4 cancels out. x is the only thing that's left. And here we have 0 divided by 4, which equals 0. And we see there is a solution. Zero is the only solution for this equation here. So what happened? Why didn't we find this uh, solution when we divided by x? Well, we don't know what x actually is, right? x could be any number and x could also be zero. And if x was zero, then we would divide by zero, which is not a good thing to do in mathematics. So um, we would have to do a case distinction uh, to see, okay, if x equals zero, what would happen then? And then we would find this solution as well, what we find here as well with this way here. But I think this is easier, the easier way than the case distinction. And usually you don't think of that. So better not do this. Never divide by your variable if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.